Hey guys, so today I'm doing a really exciting video. I am doing my swap haul. I look horrible right now, sorry, I just woke up. I did a swap with Phoebe, Beauty Phoebes on YouTube. I'll link her in the bottom bar. And yeah, basically how this all started is she commented on one of my videos and I always check out people's channels when they comment on my videos and usually subscribe. Sorry, my necklace. So I so I went on her channel and I saw that she had a British accent and I was like, jackpot! I didn't actually say that, but I was like, that'd be so cool if I could do a swap because I've always wanted to do a swap with someone. Um, so yeah, so I wrote to her and she said, oh, like I have not a lot of money to spend on a swap right now, but I'll write you back later when I'm ready. And she wrote me back a couple months later and she said that she was ready to do a swap. So we did a swap and um, we've been doing this, we've been planning this for like, since last November or December I think so some of the products are like Christmas products from last December so um, yeah it was super fun it was such a positive experience I think we we're both really happy with our swap packages and we each made a friend so I think that's really awesome because I think it's really unique on YouTube when you make friends because you already have that baseline like you know that you both like beauty stuff and YouTube and the internet and it takes a certain kind of person to um, like making videos and stuff like that. So I really think it's such a cool thing. I'm going to stop rambling on and I'm just going to start and I'm just going to pull out random things. Got me some candy, which I have been eating and it's delicious. This is the Haribo something I can't pronounce, but they're like little gumdrops and they're amazing. She got me these, which I'm just going to show you one. They're little bonbons. Because I kind of exploded the packaging and started eating them. Yeah. She also got me a crunchy bar, which I don't know if I mentioned this to her, but this is actually like my favorite candy bar, and I can barely find it here. So that's awesome. And we're, we were like, we think the same, and um, we're very similar, which is awesome. So I'm just going to start pulling out stuff, because it's already two minutes. Oh, and some of the stuff I asked for, but some of the stuff I just let her, like, take free reigns on it, because um, I didn't really know what kind of beauty stuff they have in, have in France. So, like, for instance, I knew that they had Bioderma, but um, I just m let her choose a lot of the stuff because we are so similar. She got me a baby bioderma, which I've wanted to try forever. She got me this little makeup thing, which is actually the cutest thing you've ever seen. I have no idea what that brand is. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because I'm gonna butcher it. But it's just these little baby eyeshadows and um, little lipsticks. So cute. Jelly Pong Pong Lip Orchid, um, which has an orchid on the top and it's really pretty. And um, inside, that's what it looks like. Oh, it smells so good. I love it. The Yves Rocher. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, the Fruit de Noël hand cream. Little bath. I think these are bath oils. Okay, I'm not seeing a whole lot of English on this packaging. But it looks like bath oils because I've had stuff like this before. A Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. And this kind of exploded a little bit in transit, as you can see. But nothing to worry about. I can still use it and everything. Um, and I asked for this because I've wanted to try this for so long, and this is the perfect color match for me. So I'm psyched to use that. Got me the Yves Rocher Fresh Rose Mini Shower Gel, which smells heavenly. Collection 2000 Super Size Mascara. She got me a lot of Essence stuff because I can't get Essence where I am. The only place that sells Essence is Ulta, and I literally have no Ultas next to me. So she did send me a lot of Essence products, which I'm really happy about. She did these Color & Go nail polishes, which I have a few, but I have, don't have these colors, and they're amazing. This one is called Modern Romance. Make it golden. It's like a gold glitter. Super pretty. Just in fashion, which I'm so excited to wear. You don't even know. She sent me three bourgeois um, products, which I'll show you. Two eyeshadows and a blush. And the craziest thing is, like, I didn't ask her for specific colors because I didn't know what they were going to have and stuff like that. But... If I walked into a store, these would be the exact three colors that I bought. Not even kidding you. So that's just kind of awesome and weird. <laughs> this one is the eyeshadow in the shade 74. It's like a pretty cool toned dark brown. This is the eyeshadow in the shade 05, which is just a gorgeous kind of taupey, shimmery, tan, champagne-y, amazing color. And then this is the blush in the shade 35, which is just a beautiful 
light peachy gold color and this is gonna look amazing. I can't wait to wear this. She got me the basic lipstick in the shade 2711, which is just a gorgeous red color. She got me two of these Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Eyeshadows, which I've never seen before, so that's awesome. The first one is the shade Steal the Show, which is just like a metallic steel color. They look really similar to the aqua creams from Makeup Forever. And this one is in this shade Rock Chic, which would look so gorgeous um, blended out for like a really pretty smoky eye. She got me, I'm not going to open this, but this is a, a little baby sample of MAC Teal that was hers and like she put it in for me. I'm not going to open it because I'm scared that it's going to fly all over the place because I went to a MAC store once and I was looking at the pigment neon orange and I dropped it and the whole store turned neon orange because you don't even know how much pigment is in that little packaging. It literally went everywhere and the woman was like shunning me and I ran out of the store. It was so embarrassing. This is the Essence Smoky Eye Brush. It just looks like this, like a little kind of tapered crease brush, which looks awesome. She got me a mini sample of the Clarins Gentle Peel Smooth Away Cream, which I'm excited to try. This is the Basic Earth Lifestyle. Um, it's a mascara and eyeliner duo. So here is the mascara. It's green, which is awesome because I don't think I don't have any colored mascaras and I've always wanted one. And then it's the same shade in an eyeliner, which is really cool. The W7 Africa Bronzing Face Powder and this is an exact dupe pretty much for the Too Faced Pink Leopard Bronzer. And the packaging is the same as the Benefit box powders. Like, it even comes with a little brush and everything. So I thought that was really cute. She got me four of these Catrice... Ah! Catrice nail polishes. And I'll just go, go through them. This one is called Miss Piggy Reloaded. Bloody Mary to go. I wear my sunglasses at night and it's like a shimmery, gorgeous black color. So pretty. This one is called Am I Blue or Green, which is really cute. She got me the basic New York eyeshadow quad, and these are the colors, and they're going to be so stunning for fall. She also put in this adorable note, and I'm not going to read it because it's kind of personal, but it's really, really sweet. And she put in a bunch of samples from Yves Rocher, um, Paco Rabanne Lady Million, uh, like some Sephora stuff, so that's awesome. She got me the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Baby Doll, which is just a really pretty rose color. This eyeshadow, which broke, it was the only thing that really broke, but um, I put it in this bag because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna add alcohol and then let it dry overnight, and then I'll be restored to its natural beauty. <laughs> this is the perfect eyes eyeshadow, but you can kind of see through it. I put it in a plastic bag so it didn't like go all over the place. She got me this nail polish from a brand that I have no idea what this is. I think it's called Debbie. And this is in the shade 153 and it's just like a really pretty raspberry glitter color which is going to look awesome. Sorry about my nails are chipping. This is the Deborah blush in the shade 24 which is a gorgeous kind of corally um, tan color. It's going to look so good. These two little things came together from Yves Rocher. It's a little lip gloss and like a cell phone mirror charm thing. Which is so cute. I love it. This is a Catrice Ultimate Color Lipstick in the shade 170 After Work Wine. And it looks like that. Gorgeous, dark, vampy color. I want to start wearing colors like this. Can't wait for fall. These two things from Etre Bien. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is the Nourishing Lip Balm, which I've literally been using nonstop. It just is like a plain lip balm. It doesn't really have a scent, but it's so nice, and it makes my lips feel awesome. And she got me the little um, velvety hand cream, which smells amazing, and I've been using this too. This is the Catrice Made to Stay Long Lasting Eyeshadow in the shade Lord of the Blings. Oh my god, I'm so psyched about this. This is a gorgeous. It kind of looks like Benefit's birthday suit, um, and it's just a gorgeous cream shadow. It's going to look so amazing and I love cream shadows. This is the Essence Naturvent Yochnista. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Gel eyeliner in the shade Mother Earth is Watching You and I would probably use this as a cream shadow because it's a pretty light color but it's gorgeous. I already swatched a lot of these things so that's why they have little finger marks. This is the basic lip designer in the shade 03. And that's what it looks like. I already wore this too. Kind of used everything. This is the Sephora Gloss Ultra Brilliance Gloss in the shade 13, which is just a really pretty sparkly, corally color. And does this smell like anything? Ooh, it smells like fruit, fruity. Awesome. The Bourjois Blush Creme. 
and it doesn't have a color so I'm guessing it's only one color it, oh it's the blush crumb illuminator illuminating cream blush I have no idea but that's what it looks like and I just need to swatch this because this is stunning um, can you see that illumination on my hand oh, so pretty can't wait to use that send me a mini steel lip glaze in kaleidoscope which is gorgeous Catrice um, long-lasting lip stain in the shade meet mrs. Roosevelt number 30 so pretty furry nail file because every girl needs one uh, two basic nail polishes this is the earth lifestyle nail polish which is from the same collection as um, this thing that I showed you so it's pretty pretty and this is in the shade had a shade this is in the shade green earth and then she sent me um, this from the New York collection which is really funny because I live in New York and it's the metropolitan is the shade and it's just like a pretty wine color and I really wanted a color like this so I'm super psyched sample of the barium pigment in number 23 which is just like a black with um, fuchsia glitter this is the L'Oreal color infallible um, but it doesn't have a shade name so I don't know but I'll show you it kind of got a little crushed but that's what it looks like it's gorgeous I can't wait to wear that Two mascaras. This is the basic high-end definition mascara and the Essence Multi-Action False Lash Mascara, which is supposed to be comparable to the YSL Faux Seals. Bourjois um, Nail Polish in the shade 43. Uh, the Two True 3-in-1 Concealer. The Essence Gel Liner in the shade Midnight in Paris. She's just a black, and I needed a new black, so she read my mind. Um, this is the Catrice. Precision Lip Liner in the shade Lost in the Rosewood. Rosewood, like pretty little liars. I'm obsessed. And I don't have any nude lip liners, so I'm psyched. Yves Rocher Fruit de Noël Orange and Chocolate Lip Balm, which smells like heaven on earth. I've never used this one. Oh, yeah. That really smells like orange and chocolate. Mmm, yum. That's good. And the last thing is these Rocher um, eyeshadow trio. It just looks like that. And they're gorgeous fall colors. They're going to look so pretty. That is the end of this boxed haul. Oh my god. I'm just like looking at everything and dying. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And definitely go subscribe to Phoebe. This was such a successful swap. And I made a friend out of it. Which is really awesome. So I suggest that you guys should do a swap, and uh, I think you'll love it. So I'll talk to you guys later, and if you want any individual product reviews on any of the products that I mentioned, please let me know, and have a great day. Bye!